Review, subtracting from zeros. Let's go to an on-site location for the next problem. This is a grain elevator where they store grain to be shipped. If this grain elevator shipped 1,265,650 tons of grain last year, and this year it shipped 2,025,000 tons, how many more tons of grain were shipped this year? Let's do the math. This year the grain elevator shipped 2,025,000 tons of grain. Last year it shipped 1,265,650 tons of grain. What is the difference between the two years? So we have to deduct last year's from this year's. Zero from zero is zero. We can't deduct five from zero, so we have to borrow from the next number. We can't do that, so we have to borrow one from the thousands column. Now we can borrow from the hundreds column, makes this a 9, and makes that a 10. So 10 minus 5 is 5, 9 minus 6 is 3. We can't deduct 5 from 4, so we have to borrow from the next number. 14 minus 5 is 9. We can't take 6 from the 1, so we have to borrow from the next number. We can't, so we have to borrow from the millions column. Now we can borrow from the hundred thousands column. Makes that a nine. This makes that eleven. Eleven minus six is five. Nine minus two is seven. And one minus one is zero. So this year they ship seven hundred fifty-nine thousand three hundred fifty tons more grain. Keep up the good work. After completing the problems on this page, take the test. And don't forget, double check your work. We have also provided double check and triple check additional help and tests to help you master this unit. Please work the problems and take the test in your workbook. Number success, the practical way to learn.